so this right here is a J1772 to a NEMA 515 adapter. And this, in theory, should allow you to charge most e-bikes using public EV chargers. I bought this off of Amazon. I'll leave a link below the video. And we're gonna test it out right now for the very first time. There's also a bunch of nuances here with uh, exactly what kind of chargers you can use. And I'll explain all of it in this video. But before I do that, let's actually use it and see if it works. All right, so we're pulling up to the charger and here we go. It's right here in the parking lot. We have somebody using the one and only charger. Oh no, there's two. So because I made the account on my phone, I should be good to go. So I have the adapter and I have my regular charger. Okay, step one. It says to plug in. Okay, it does fit. We have a little red light here. Let's plug in the actual charger. Should have a light. Yep, on the charger. Plug in the bike. I think we're charging. Yeah, red light means that we're charging. Yeah. So charge A, that's this car next to me, but I'm right here, I'm charging B, and we're charging at a speed of 500 watts, which is normal for my charger. Yeah, so there we go. We are indeed charging via a public level two charger. This particular one is ChargePoint. Using the adapter, plug into the bike, and we're at 73% charge right now. I did see from my research that ChargePoint seems to be one of the, the better brands out there when it comes to the public EV chargers. But this is super cool. Now my particular charger, it's six amps at 84 volts. So this charger is half a kilowatt, 504 watts. And that's why this says right here, half a kilowatt. All right, now we're up to 75%. Let's go ahead and unplug. Disconnect the cable, see what this process looks like. Because I have an account on the app, it should be pretty seamless. I don't think I have to do anything else. That's the receipt. And you know what? If you're traveling like a road trip, you can just leave this connected if you wanted to. It's, it's really not that big of an adapter. All right, but let's go ahead now and break down the, the tech specs behind all this and see what kind of chargers you can use and whether or not your bike is compatible with this adapter. All right, so when it comes to these public uh, chargers, they're not all the same. You may have heard level one, level two, level three. That right there and what's compatible with this uh, adapter is a level two charger. And all that means is that it runs at 240 volts. A regular house outlet, aka a level one charger, is 120 volts. And then level three are those DC fast chargers that have uh, super high voltages like 400, sometimes even like 800 volts. And those are not compatible with this adapter. Only level two chargers are uh, compatible with this. Now, when it comes to identifying which one of these chargers are the proper level two chargers, there's two main ways. The most convenient way is to go on Google Maps and search for EV charging stations, and then look at the power output. All the ones that have a charging speed of like around 200 kilowatts, those are all level three superchargers. So instead you wanna look for the ones that have uh, a charge rate of like around 10 kilowatts. Those are the level two chargers. And then the second way to just confirm that it is indeed a level two when you pull up to it is the actual uh, charger. The DC fast chargers have this connector. It's bigger, it allows for more power. And this is the level two charging adapter. And by the way, all of this is also true for the Tesla charging standard. Although unfortunately the Tesla charger, the actual adapter, the plug, it's the same whether it's a level two or a level three charger. So for Tesla, the only way to identify which is level two, level three, you have to look at the 
the power rating. So that's how you identify the charger. But before you buy the adapter, you have to check your uh, bike charger and make sure that it's compatible with 240 volts. Because most appliances that plug in via 120 volts or level one are not compatible with higher voltages. But we can see that my charger right here, the input voltage, it says between 100 and 240 volts. That is why I was just able to use this at a 240 volt charger. And from what I've seen, most like bigger bikes like Surons, you know, e-motors in general, uh, they do come with more beefy chargers like mine that can accept, you know, from 120 to 240 volts. Now there are uh, two other things I want to mention that you probably should know about. If your charger or you know, any device that you want to use with these chargers do not accept 240 volts. So they're stuck at 120 volts. You can get a another adapter that's a voltage step down that converts 240 volts to 120 volts. This device is really cool and in theory allows you to run anything off the a public level 2 EV charger. Unfortunately, it's kind of big, so carrying it with you might not be super practical. But I did want to tell you guys that it does exist. And then the other thing I wanted to mention is that you can get the same adapter I have, but for the Tesla charging standard. I think you can buy those off of Amazon, so if I see one, I'll leave that link below the video as well. But again, keep in mind when it comes to the Tesla charger, the level two and the level three look the same. So you have to double check the power output to make sure that it's a level two and running at 240 volts. But that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.